Alright, so I just got done finishing up my mold for my uh, front grip of my portal gun. I started out with this 3D printed piece. Um, I, I printed this off, split in half, and I glued it together, cleaned it up, had some body filler. I took made these 3D printed arm mounts. This took about uh, 14 hours or so of printing. It's fairly lightweight though, uh, so if you pretty much if you drop it on the ground, probably break or crack or get messed up. I could have printed a lot solider. This is only 10% uh, infill, so 90% of what's here is air, so it's really light. But it would take forever to print one that's really solid. So I decided to take and make a mold. This is a silicone rubber with a fiberglass mother mold to hold it all together. It has these nubs. They uh, align with this top piece. The top piece has two fiberglass mother mold parts that get bolted together and then a ratchet strap tied around them to hold everything solid. Um, they also have these nubs that act as keys for these pockets so that the mold doesn't move around. Um, so here is what I have so far for my portal gun. Uh, I've got my fancy new emitter design that I printed out. Turned out pretty nice. I might make a mold of that too and cast a part. I haven't decided yet. Um, so I've got that. Kind of. There's the, the buttons on the rear for changing the light colors and turning it on and off as a handle. There'll be a, another, another piece over this. Uh, well, I've got. I was working on this piece. I decided I'm going to 3D print this as well because this is okay, but I'd rather have something that's like perfectly symmetric and designed. This is just literally foam, body filler, a plumber's fitting, paper. It's kind of, I mean, it, it's decent looking, but it's not, it's not precisionly printed so yeah, I'm still working on getting the kinks out for printing this it got my printer got really weird so this is pretty much junk um, but anyways this is the front grip that I just pulled out of the mold it only took about 10 minutes to cure so <clears throat> if you figure to make something this solid it took like 20 hours so making a mold only took about nine hours it cost me about $100 to make the mold, but it was pretty fun making it, so. Um, the only thing I really have to do for this is clean up this flashing along the seam, cut off the pore spouts. Uh, i got to fill in these air bubbles. i got to make a, a vent in the, in the rubber so that the air can escape in these, in these parts. I could just fill that in with the epoxy sculpt, though. It'll be nice and solid. The surface, it's got a little bit of a warping to it. As the plastic cures, it gets really hot. <clears throat> so, you do get a little bit of warping. But, a little bit of body filler and it'll be good as new. But, it's really nice. Uh, it's got nice concave shape to it on the inside. It's a lot better than trying to carve this out of foam. Originally, I was going to make it a green florist foam, cover that with resin, and go at it that way. But with this, it's all uniform thickness. It's nice. It's symmetrical, which is a plus. My, well, my other one that I was making, actually, I made a couple, but, I mean, this is, this is, this is okay if you just want something kind of plain looking, but compared to, I mean, obviously the, the, the scale of this is too pretty small, but compared to this, this is like 
a million times better. I mean, this would this would work. I mean, it's not really. I mean, all it does is sit on the bottom of the gun and you hold it, so it's not like it's super critical, but it's fairly fairly simple in design. So that's where the 3D printer really helped. Yeah, the blueprints there. Um, so anyways, I'm pretty excited with this. Now I got a the rear portion printing that out is probably going to take about 20 hours, so it's going to be very slow going, but once I get that done, I'm going to repeat the process, fix the things that I learned in this process, but um, I think it worked pretty well, and I bought, I bought a couple gallons of, uh, this is a lot of fiberglass paste and this is all I think it's like 18 pounds of rubber so I spent $200 on rubber and about another $80 on fiberglass so I'm gonna use it up on something I guess so alright I guess that's about it